We said the fastest thing you can do for your health and fitness right now is take creatine. Then a bunch of outdated controversies show up in the comments. Let's address each one. We'll even show you the science. Check out the pinned comments below. First controversy, does creatine lead to water retention? The water increased is intracellular. It's intermuscular, meaning it makes your muscles look and perform better. Second controversy, isn't creatine a steroid? This one drives us crazy because creatine has a completely different chemical structure. It's not an anabolic steroid. Steroids are steroids. Third controversy, doesn't creatine cause kidney damage? This is a big one because you really don't want to mess with your kidneys, but let's go read it from the science. In recommended dosages, it does not result in kidney damage or renal dysfunction in healthy individuals. Controversy number four, doesn't creatine make you go bald? Yeah, thanks for all your comments on that one, but that's not why I'm bald. No, creatine does not increase testosterone, free testosterone, or DHT, which means it does not cause baldness. Controversy number five, doesn't creatine lead to dehydration and muscle cramping? Okay, here's the science on that, and it gets really deep. In summary, nope. Controversy number six, isn't creatine harmful to children and adolescents? This one's super touchy, so let's just read it. From a clinical perspective, creatine supplementation has been found to potentially offer health benefits with minimal adverse side effects for younger populations. That's only half of them, so like and follow for part two. Also, if you're not on creatine, you gotta get on it. And if you don't get it from us, get it from somewhere. Click the link in the bio.